Hello everyone. Today's video, we will be talking about the Thevenin's theorem. And the Thevenin's theorem consists of a two terminal circuit. And the purpose of it is to decompose part of the circuit and to simplify it to an equivalent one where we only have one voltage source and then a, a resistor. So here we have our first circuit, our two terminal circuit with such complex circuitry. And here we have our load resistor or our variable resistor where we can tune the resistor to change our voltage value across here. Now, this seems a little bit too complicated, so we'll label this as complex circuit. And because of that, we have to do something about it. And there, and this is what comes in handy with the uh, Thevenin's theorem in place. So we are transi transitioning from complex circuit to a uh, simple circuit using the Thevenin's equivalent. And that's pretty simple. So we're changing from this to this. And now I'm going to highlight what the purpose of Thevenin's theorem is. So the purpose is to replace a linear two terminal circuit by an equivalent circuit where we have a voltage source VTH in series with a resistor RTH. Now when we come across questions where we have to deal with the variable resistor, most of the times we have to find what the voltage across it is and also the current. If you want to find what the load current is, that would essentially just be in I L is equal to VTH over RTH plus RL. And then if we want to find what VL is, uh, it's pretty simple. Just take Ohm's law. So that would be IL times RL, or that could be RL divided by RTH plus RL times VTH. Now the question is, what happens if we want to find what the Thevenin voltage is and what the Thevenin resistance is going to be? So going back to our first page, what we have done, so we have this uh, circuit and using this circuit we can find what VTH and RTH is. Now let's uh, identify how to find RTH. Well, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to draw the complex circuit again here. So essentially, we want to find what RTH is between uh, these two terminal circuit. And to do that, what we do is we turn off all independent sources and then find the uh, total resistance of it. And that would be our Thevenin resistance. So in uh, this example, what we want to do is we want to short circuit the voltage source. So this uh, gets uh, shorted. And also this one becomes open. And then we come we find the total resistance of uh, these three of these five resistors. And that is our Thevenin resistance. To find Thevenin voltage, we keep the independent sources active 
and simply we just find what the voltage across uh, the two terminals are. And that is the basis of how to apply Thevenin's theorem to find a equivalent circuit with just a voltage source in series with a resistor. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the near future. Since you guys have finished watching this video, please check out the Thevenin theorems example and also another video showcasing Thevenin's equivalence with dependent sources.